What's up everybody? Welcome to the Stocks Channel. My name is Corey and today we're going to do macro level analysis and we're going to try to answer the question, can this market go through a stock market correction in the very near future? First up, we'll take a look at the S&P 500 SPX index. So let's crack open this chart and see what's going on in the stock market today. All right, so first we're looking at the SPX weekly chart. So each candlestick does represent one entire week's worth of price action. Now you can see we did end the week very strong, well above the weekly 5 EMA, and we still do have the very strong bull trend. Now I do want to remind you how strong this bull market is from a macro level view, because we never lost the bull trend ever since August of 2020, and this has been a very strong bull market ever since we did see that March 2020 crash. So like I always say, don't try to call a top in a bull market, but we do have resistance levels that we want to pay attention to that could always lead to a pullback. So on SPX, we do have a resistance level very close to where we closed at 45.35. We did close right on top of that resistance, so it's still way too soon to say if this level is going to trigger a pullback in the market. Now one thing you can note is there is a wick above that resistance level, so we're already starting to see that resistance acting as resistance with sellers stepping in above that level. So remember, these resistance levels don't mean the market has to top, it just means there could be a price action struggle at that level, and we could actually lead to a pullback or even a correction. So I do have three price targets here, and if we break one and we start closing above it, you'll wanna start looking for the next target above. So right now, watch these levels at 45.35, 46.05, and 46.76. Any of these levels could lead to a pullback or possibly even a correction, so they're levels you'll definitely wanna pay close attention to when we start seeing price action reaching these levels. Now remember that this market has been bullish for quite a while and it's always possible we come back down to our 20 simple moving average of support. So if we do find resistance at this level at 45.35 and we come back down to the 20 simple moving average, that's almost a 5% pullback till we find support at the weekly 20 simple moving average. Another strong area of support is right around 41.55 and that's right around 8.5% downside before we're at significant support yet again. So as I always tell you, prepare for a stock market correction, but don't necessarily expect one as long as we're in the strong bull trend. So I want to go ahead and zoom out here and look at a couple of very important trend lines. Remember, we have this magenta and this purple trend line that did call the top very many times going all the way back to the low in 2009 to the high in 2018. When we finally did break through this resistance trend line after the third attempt, Remember, we tried in February 2020 and failed. We tried again in August of 2020 and failed. And then we did see another attempt to break out in October of 2020 and again we failed. We finally did break out and close above that level in November of 2020 and never looked back since. Typically speaking, when you do get a resistance breakout of one of these levels, you will come back and test that level as support. Now there's no way to know exactly when that will occur, but there's always the possibility if we see a correction getting out of control, that we come all the way back to these levels around SPX levels of 3,800 down to about 3,650. Now don't just assume we have to go down that low, but if we start blasting through some of these critical support levels above, there's not going to be a lot of support until we get to those levels if we start seeing things going from bad to worse. So let me just zoom out here so you can see the scale of these trend lines, and you can see that these trend lines were calling the top very many times. I'll go ahead and take off the Bollinger Bands and the moving averages so you can see this a little better. So we can see the magenta trend line had the low in 2009 and the high in 2014 as well as the high in 2018 and the high in 2020. All of those highs were significant highs before we saw a significant correction and in the event of 2020 we even saw a crash. So this resistance trend line was very strong and now we have yet to test that level as support. So there's almost no doubt in my mind, eventually we will come back to test that level as support. It's just a matter of when. It could be this year, it could be next year, it could be two or three years from now, but eventually we will come back down to test that breakout. Now you can also see on this linear scale that we have been absolutely screaming higher ever since we saw the crash in 2020. If I just zoom out and you look at these candlesticks on the weekly chart, you could see that we've basically gone up at a 70 degree angle in a straight line and never really saw a true stock market correction. So don't get too complacent at these levels. I'm not trying to scare you because we are still in a bull market, but the more people I hear saying that it's not possible we ever see a stock market correction again, the more cautious I become because I know it could be right around the corner. If we look at our bear bull survey, we can see that we are starting to see some levels of greed. We're currently at 43.4% bulls and only 20% of the people are neutral with 33% of the people that are still bearish. There's always the opportunity that the bears and the neutral camp join the bulls, so we could still see the bulls go all the way up to 50% or higher, which would be a greedy reading. 
When you start to see greedy readings, you want to be a contrarian and you want to start thinking about the possibility that the stock market is due for a correction. When all the cash is in the market and there's nobody left to buy, that's when the market's ready for a correction. Normally, that's when you're going to start hearing things like this stock market will never crash, this stock market will never correct, go ahead and just throw your money in because the stock market's going to go higher forever. While the stock market does go higher in the long term, in the short term, there could still be significant drawdowns. We could drop anywhere between 5 to 20%, and it really just depends on how bullish this market is and how willing people are to buy the dip on the way down. This is definitely a strong bull market with plenty of liquidity, so I'm not expecting to see any stock market crashing, but that doesn't mean that we can't see a stock market correction at these levels. So the higher this bull percentage gets and the closer it gets to 50% and beyond, you want to start being a contrarian and start thinking about taking some profits and getting ready to buy much lower. Greed readings usually lead to massive sell-offs and they do happen very quickly once the panic sets in. So don't just believe the narrative that this stock market will never go through a correction ever again due to the Fed. It's just simply not the case and the market will always move on technicals no matter what. So let's go back over to the SPX and I do want to do something I don't normally do and I want to switch this over to a log scale. Now when I switch to a log scale you'll notice immediately that there's a new trend line that pops in and it is this green trend line. Now this only works on a log scale of the SPX and again we are looking at a weekly chart. So I took all of the highs on the weekly chart going all the way back down to the low in 2009 and you can see how significant this resistance trend line is and lo and behold you can see how close we're starting to get to that resistance trend line with today's recent price action. We're very close to any of these levels triggering another pullback and I'll show you exactly why I believe that's going to be the case. We'll go back to the very first time that we hit that trend line and it was in April of 2010 and from that level we did pull back about 17% from the high to the low. So that is a very significant pullback and remember each candlestick on this chart is one entire week so that was a very long term bear market that you really had to painfully struggle through going down over 17%. So if you're looking at these levels and you think we're just going to go up forever, don't forget that there could also be a bear market that does follow a greedy market like we could be in right now. We did hit that trend line yet again in February of 2011 and we did overshoot that level just a little bit. So it did start to look like maybe we were going to break out. From that high to that low, we were down about 6.84% and it did happen over the course of about a month. So a little quicker there, but still a painful drawdown over a four week period. The next time we hit that trend line was right around April of 2011. And from that high to that low, we pulled back another 8.1%. And again, it was over the course of over a month. So it's still just a little bit of a painful drawdown to suffer 8% pullback over a five week period. Then from there, we formed a lower high and we continued to pull back. And that did go all the way into the end of 2011 practically. So from there, we started to see another bull market and we didn't hit that trend line again until we got up there in about June of 2014. From that high to that low, we pulled back only about 4%, but it was a very sideways and choppy market for those four to five weeks. So not necessarily a market you wanna be stuck in if you're trying to put your cash to work at lower prices. From there, we formed a little bit of a higher high and then had another significant pullback and we didn't test the trend line again until about November of 2014. We rode the trend line for three weeks before having a significant drawdown and from that high to that low was over 5%, but it was a very quick pullback and then we were back to the trend line yet again. We went back up to the trend line in December of 2014 and again, another significant pullback from high to low of over 5% and it happened over the course of four to six weeks. So you can see how important this trend line has been and we'll go ahead and finish out this trend line so you can see why it's so significant and why you should be paying attention to it today because we never hit that trend line again since 2014. So that is a very significant trend line because I showed you how many significant touches it had and we never did break and close above this trend line and keep running. That doesn't mean we can't do it this time, but typically speaking, you're not going to break above that trend line at the first attempt. So you can see all of my price targets are very close to that trend line. 45.35 is basically there even though we didn't get the official touch and the next price target is 46.05, which means it will touch that trend line in October of 2021 which is only four weeks away. So could we be about three to four weeks away from a very significant correction? Or could we go up and tag this trend line as soon as next week and start correcting immediately? Only time will tell and I'm not going to try to predict a stock market correction in a bull market because it's always possible we continue to go higher. I just want you to be aware that this is a possibility of a very strong trend line and we could be actually due for a pullback or a correction because we're basically there right now. We're starting to see greed readings on the bear bull survey 
So there's definitely plenty of people that are complacent out there and think this market can never go through a correction and that it's just going to continue to go higher for the rest of the year. While that could be the case, typically speaking, when everybody is in the market is the best time for it to actually go through a correction. So watch these levels very closely at 45.35 and 46.05. And this is over the course of only about three to four weeks that we could hit a very significant high in the market. If we pull back from these levels and go to my support trend line, that is about an 8.7% pullback, which is a very normal stock market correction anywhere between 5 to 10% and sometimes could even go to 15 to 20%. So pay attention to that trend line and pay attention to these critical resistance levels. Remember, you still need to take the market day by day and stay objective and follow the price action and the trend. And as you can tell, we are still in a very strong bull market. I'll go ahead and throw the Bollinger Bands up and the moving averages yet again. And you can see we are still well within the upper Bollinger Band and we still do have a very strong bull trend. Price action is well above all the moving averages. So basically everything on this chart is bullish. So you don't want to just try to short this market because we're reaching price targets and going into a resistance trend line. I just wanted to give you another way to look at this market. And if you want to be a little more of a contrarian, now would be the good time to start raising some cash and get ready for a potential correction because we could see it either in September or October, which are typically two of the most bearish months of the year anyway. So over the next 30 to 60 days, I do think you should be a lot more cautious because there is a significantly increased probability we see a pullback or a significant correction in the two months coming up. Just don't panic sell out of your positions as long as we're in a bull market. I always think you should leave some skin in the game because you never know how high we can truly go. You don't want to FOMO in because you went to all cash too soon. And you definitely don't just want to assume that we have to go through a correction and try to short this market. Shorting in a bull market is a death wish because we can always continue to go higher. And there's always the chance we just chop sideways and correct through time. So while I do think we could go through a significant pullback or correction in the very near future, I don't want you just to assume that it has to happen. So still stay objective and follow the trend because of course the trend is always going to be your friend and you want to trade in the direction of the trend until we see a significant rollover in this market. Price action is above all the critical support and the bull trend is still very strong. So there's no reason to believe this market is rolling over just yet. Could it roll over very soon? Absolutely. So pay attention to these critical resistance levels that I gave you and also pay attention to that critical resistance trend line. Just so you know, that trend line is right around 4550 to about 4570 over the next couple of weeks. If it goes any longer than that, you're basically looking at my 4605 resistance level and that will take us all the way out to the beginning of October. So I hope you all enjoyed this look at the market of whether or not we could see a stock market correction in the very near future. If you enjoyed this look at the market, please let me know by smashing that like button and I hope you're all enjoying your long holiday weekends. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you're crushing this market. And as always, I will see you in the next episode.